All right, so here is 2006 free response number five on form B. And it says consider the differential equation dy dx equals y minus one quantity squared times cosine pi x. And it says on the axis provided, so we'll do it right on this page. It says sketch the slope field. Well, first thing that's pretty easy is when I look at this, I say, hey, if y is one, then they're all zero. So those are the easy three, okay? Then if I look now and I start plugging in numbers, I plug in negative one for y, or zero for y, I'm gonna get negative one squared. So all these are gonna be positive for this portion. So the question is what happens? Well, when you're at negative pi, you're gonna be negative one, so it's gonna be negative one. On the other side, it will be negative one. All right? And the middle is positive one, right on. So it looks like this. And then they actually get steeper because the x values don't change, but when you drop down, you're going to get negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So all these are going to be multiplied by 4, so they should just be very steep. Um, I think that negative 1 is 0. Mm. Nope, you made a math mistake. 0, negative 1. Nope, that's, that's the, that would be the slope field for this one. And I'm sure the AP and won't score it later, but listen, I'm sure the AP is going to score the zeros and the non-zeros separate. Uh, pretty sure. Okay, so letter B. There is a horizontal line with y equals c that satisfies the differential equation. Find the value of c. There's a horizontal line with the equation y equals c that satisfies this differential equation. So they want you to find c. Okay. We have to find value of C that, that makes this equation true. It should just be one. Okay. There's a horizontal line the equation y equals c that satisfies this differential equation. You have to find it. Find the value of c. Would it just be y equals 1? It would just be y equals 1. Yeah. I mean, is that the answer? Yeah, it's the answer. It is. It's just y equals 1. Because it's going to, you know. How do you get points for that? Just one point? Yeah, just one point. It's going to be the answer. It has to be the answer. That is the answer. And that's, that, that's all I wrote. That's all I wrote. The line, it's, here's what it says here now. I look. The y, y equals 1 satisfies the differential equation, so c equals 1. So y equals 1. So y equals 1, thus c equals 1. All right? That satisfies this differential equation. Because think about it. You plug in 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. That's always 0. Like you said, these are all 0. It's that easy. I just was, I was a little stuck for a second there. I was like, how can this be? But that always works, all right? That always zeroes it out. Okay, so letter C. We're doing 5, but if you want to jump in. All right. Find the particular solution, y equals f of x, the differential equation for the initial condition, f of 1 equals 0. All right? Here we go. This is what we talked about. When you have dy dx, and you look on the left side and you have two variables, x and y. You cannot integrate, you have to separate first. And I guarantee this will be six points, and I know the first point will be that you separate these. So I'll bring dx over and divide by y. So I get dy over y minus one squared equals cosine pi x dx. All right, that's the separation of variables. Now we have to integrate both sides. All right, well, I'm going to bring this to the top and write it as y minus 1 to the negative 2 dy, because I just see it better that way. And then I'll do the integration. So now I'll integrate. Add 1. And since the inside is order 1, I don't have to worry about you know the chain rule, because this derivative of y will be 1. So I get this equals, now, the derivative of sine as cosine Here I go. This is what I call the check. 
I remember that sine gives me cosine, so sine pi x is cosine pi x, but then I have to take the derivative of pi x, which is pi. Pi times 1 over pi is cosine. It checks out. I remember to add c. Now I use my initial condition, which was f of 1 zero. is 0. So when x is 1, y is 0. And sometimes it helps to actually write that point, so you just don't get confused. So I get negative 1 to the negative 1 over negative 1 equals 1 over pi sine of pi plus c. Now this is a non-calculated problem, so you sure expect this to work out pretty for you, okay? And it really does. Alright? You get the, this will be negative 1 over negative 1, which is 1 equals, this is 0, so 0 plus c, so c is 1. And now we can take that one back up into our original equation and rewrite it. So I'm going to rewrite this equation right here with c equals 1. All right? So I have sine of pi is really zero. negative y minus 1 to the negative 1 equals 1 over pi sine pi x plus 1. And now this is not good enough because we haven't solved it for y yet, have we? We haven't solved it for y. So I'm going to have to do some work here. I'm going to have to drop this down. So this is 1 over y plus 1. Okay, just I'm going to multiply the other side by pi. Make this pi over pi. And write sine. And write sine pi x plus pi all over pi. See how I did that? Because if I do that, I have one term, one term. I can flip. Flip it. And when I flip, I get this. And again, I, so I want to solve for y. So you just cross multiply? You could cross multiply. Yeah, but you're going to end up with a gigantic term. I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to bring the negative over, make it positive. I got to subtract 1. y equals negative pi over sine pi x plus pi minus 1. If you find, I think I better find a common denominator here for simplification purposes. Take a look. You see the denominator has a plus pi and you got a minus pi? I'm thinking there's going to be like terms. All right. Ah, okay. But guess what? I'm, I just cheated and looked at the AP answer. The AP stopped here. So this would be where the AP stopped. I would have gone one more step, got a common denominator, but they would have stopped and graded it here. And we have just done question five, ABC. And again, letter C is by far the most important, six points. Letter B was one, letter A was two. All right, stop it. Letter B was 2, or letter B was 1, and letter A was 2? For points, letter A was 2, yeah. letter B was 1, letter C was 6.